Please welcome back Jeff Daniels and Lauren Graham. <laughs> Now, the two, actually, we want to get to the film, but I want to also talk about this past year Broadway for you both. Because yeah. God of Carnage, still starring in it, having a good time? We are, we are, and yeah. we're, uh, yeah, we're still going, uh, and we're going to come back in the fall. So we're, we're real excited Excellent. about that. And yeah. it was awesome. The you show, have to go. God of Carnage it. won the Tony as the best play, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And Marsha Gay Harden won her, 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 for her performance. Mm -hmm. You play a guy who's very sort of a creepy in a way. Jerk, yeah. <laughs> a jerk, a jerk. I'm the go-to guy. When yeah. it, you know, we need that. Did yeah. you enjoy that part? I did, because you can do all these things that, you know, nobody, you know, every, we're afraid to do that, and I can just instantly become that, you know, right off the bat. I'm that, <laughs> that guy with no manners, you know. So and it's and was fun. James Gandolfini fun off, you know, off camera? He is. I mean, he, you know, everybody thinks of him as Tony Soprano, or, or uh, he's just one of the most generous guys, and he's worked so hard on this, and mm -hmm. he's... None of us have missed a show in six months, so it's so much fun. Yeah, well, and it's hard work, but he's man, he's he's dug in, and he it's, he's been a pleasure. It really those are, those and you guys. Hours. Oh, I just wanted to mention, yeah. Guys and Dolls was your mm -hmm. debut on Broadway. Right. Would you do it again? I would do it again for sure. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I learned so much, and um, we didn't win any Tonys, but um, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we closed. But besides that, it's exactly the same experience as Jeff's had. You didn't miss any day if you were there. <laughs> Now you, when you guys were going to go, um, when you guys were going to go to the Tonys, you and Mr. Gandolfini decided you were going to do something, which I think would have been pretty hysterical. But you backed out. Can you tell us it, about it, it was out there. It was uh, they, we were going to present together, and uh, and they were trying to find some unusual way to get the two of us, especially Jim, to do something that was kind of out of the box. And so I suggested that maybe we should announce that we're they're going to do Dumb and Dumber the musical. <laughs> and, and that Jim and I should go out in the orange and blue tuxedos, yeah, nice. and since Jim oh, Carrey... Look at that. Right. Uh, <laughs> that would have been fun. That, that would have been funny. funny. I love that. Uh, it movie. got to be kind of... Uh, it it was, do. and oh, God forbid, what happens if it doesn't work? Oh, and yeah. then there we are, <laughs> out there in orange and blue and orange. And, See, uh, that's, a, that's something Sasha so Baron so Cohen would have pulled off and I not... Know, they I wouldn't know. care who worked or it didn't work. It was right up to the last second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this story is really interesting because periodically you hear actors who meet their, the loves of their lives this way. They say they've met a, a young lady who doesn't know who they are. And I'm thinking of one actor in particular who was so sh thrilled that the woman didn't know who he was that he went out with her, he went out with her and then subsequently married her. I'll tell you backstage. Okay. Um, <laughs> But this story, did you say yes instantly to do it? Because you, you felt like that was something that you would hope would happen, somebody fabulous that you didn't, that who didn't know who you were would come into your life? I said yes. You mean to the movie yeah. at all? I said yes instantly because it's such a beautiful script. It's mm -hmm. so funny and smart. And it is sort of about fame. It's about kind of what happens when you lose yourself in your own mm -hmm. hype. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, my character is somebody who doesn't immediately know, um, who, who Jeff is and, and maybe likes him better because of that. But, uh, but it's, it's, it was just a, a great script. It didn't take much. I heard that you lost a lot of weight on the, while you were filming and that, how do you, you like that? Yeah. To have a yeah, guy he's always start... losing a lot of weight, he says. He, like, I, lo I would, would look at him on a Monday and Friday, he was like melting like an ice cube. Yeah. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I don't know, you know, just, uh, <laughs> eating. eating less. Yeah, eating less. On like, purpose. that's what guys do. Eating on purpose? Less. Is that like a work thing when you're working, you're for focus and you don't just, eat? I think there's a lesson for all of us. Just don't get older. Um, <laughs> don't age because it gets hard. It gets, hard. It gets harder. So. Well, we had to go back and reshoot things because he, he melted so much. Oh, really? Yeah. I and then you know, look at him. Foxy. Don't, don't melt away here. Don't melt away I'm here. Hot. You look you hot. Hot. You look so hot. He's keeping himself in line. John Hyman, the, the writer and director, is here in our audience, so we want to give a hello to you. Congratulations. Hi. Look at because our writer director. Writer director. First time. Which I find is interesting, too. Oh, this, is a, this is the first time writing and directing, and after Sundance, the premiere, I mean, it's been getting incredible reviews. But, Lauren, you actually had met before, right? Well, 
John, no, John called to meet me on this movie and was so, so kind to me, but is um, one of the few and proud men who's a huge Gilmore Girls fan. And so, <laughs> thank you. And, <laughs> Oh, I, of course, am trying to get a new job, and he, all he wanted to talk about was Gilmore Girls and, um, and, and like, Luke and what happened at the coffee shop. And, uh, and, then, and then at the end of the movie, he came to me and he said, you know, I was your waiter. And, and years before um, we had met, he um, worked at a, as a waiter at a restaurant where I went and told me then that he liked Gilmore Girls and now became my director, and I just think that is such a great... Oh, um, Did you yeah. leave him a good tip? Yeah. We're so glad to have you both here. Congratulations on the film. Good luck with all the work on Broadway. Thank Still, you. The Answer Man opens in select cities July 24th. It is also good news available right now on demand on most cable providers. When we come back, Tyler Florence is cooking with Sherry. Don't go away.